from experience, what do they call the International Hula Hoop Championships has some complicated directions and students have questions. So I'm gonna do just two examples on how to complete this worksheet. First, we're gonna simplify each expression and then we're gonna evaluate it for the given value of the variable. Uh, we're gonna find the simplified expression and we're gonna write it in the value when we substitute the variable in. So let's look at number one. Uh, honestly, it's, it's kind of hard to do all this on this piece of paper, so I'm gonna do my work on another piece of paper. Uh, I might be able to simplify this one here. So I'm gonna add the opposite here so I can get to the commutative property. I wanna simplify this expression. That will give me 5x plus three. I might be able to do this one here, but some of these, you're gonna need to do them on a separate sheet of paper. So 5x plus three is right here. Now I don't know where to put the letter I until I solve it, I substitute and solve here. So 5x plus 3, and it's telling me to take that x and change it to a 6. Well, this is the no symbol form of multiplication. Order of operations, we know. This is the order of operations. We don't call it PEMDAS. PEMDAS is the made-up word that doesn't exist that we use to help us remember. Parentheses, exponents, multiplication, and division from left to right, addition and subtraction from left to right. 30 plus 3, 33. Now notice, this took up a lot of space, so I am going to have to do all these other ones on a separate sheet of paper. So I'm going to write the letter I down at the bottom in the number 33. There it is. So I can cross this one out. I should only use it once. Let's just do one that's a little beefier. Let's go down and do number 8. So strategy-wise, I don't really have to add the opposite here, but I do have to add the opposite here because I'm going to be distributing a negative factor. This is that Oprah term, the distributive property. You get a car and you get a car. So when I'm simplifying, I get 15 plus negative 4a minus negative 20, which I'm going to add the opposite to. I get negative 4a plus 35. I'm going to substitute in the value of 8, negative 4 times 8 plus 35, negative 32 plus 35, oh, that's 3. So I'm going to find negative 4a plus 35 over here on the left. That's the letter H. And then at the bottom, I need to find the number 3. Ooh, look, it goes right here. I can cross that one out. So there's number eight for you guys and number one for you guys. I hope you love the riddle.